Welcome to Seth Craft. I have the Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt laser over here and I need to cut through some eighth inch and quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. The problem is I don't know what settings to put my laser on for the speed and the power to effectively and efficiently cut through this material. I found a solution and I think it will help you out as well. I found this cutting test file and I'll have a link to this in the description down below. It has speeds from three millimeters per second up to seven millimeters per second, and it has powers from 10 to 90. You don't necessarily want to run your Xtool D1 Pro at 100% power, so that's why this test only goes from 10 to 90. Um, so you can see here, this is the three millimeter, and if I zoom in close here, you can see that um, it starts cutting at 50 uh, percent power at three millimeters and it will cut through at six millimeters per second at 90. Um, so those are my ranges that will cut all the way through this. Now I've also run this same test to do the quarter inch and my only difference was I ran it at uh, two passes. So let's go ahead and load up this file and put a piece of plywood into the laser and I will show you how well this little file runs. So what you'll do with this is every time you have a new material, such as plywood or regular wood, whatever it may be, you will run this again and you can uh, put the name on it somewhere and you'll keep that. So next time you have to cut into this same material, you'll say, hey, where's that card? There it is. These are the settings I want to use on that. Uh, specific material. So, okay, let's go ahead and load this up on Lightburn and we will do a test cut here on the quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. I've loaded the cutting test into Lightburn. If I zoom in here, you can kind of see what's going on. So, this is from the uh, YouTube creator Sam Craft and it's called the uh, cutting test. And like I said before, it goes from three millimeters per second to seven millimeters per second and a power percentage from 10 to 90. You can get this uh, at sam-craft.com, but I'll have a link to this in the description down below. All right, now that you see the file, you can uh, go ahead and load up your material into the X tool. So let's go ahead and do that next. This is a piece of quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. So let's go ahead and place this, let's do right here like this. And then I'm going to position my laser over the material. I do need to push the kickstand down and get a focus. All right, laser is now focused. So let's go ahead and turn everything on. I'm gonna line this up here in this top corner because I want to be able to get everything in this little square right here for our test. Go ahead and turn on my light and enclose your fan. I've also got air assist for my laser. Don't forget to look cool while you're running the laser. Now that I have the material set up, let's go back into the cut file. And we want to make sure that each of these lines over here is uh, set up to do two pass because I'm working with the quarter inch plywood. So let's go ahead and click for instance, line one, and this is gonna be the outer cut. And so I know that I'm gonna put this at three and a power of 90 with two passes. That way I'm gonna cut this card out and I'll be able to save it later for um, whenever I need to cut this kind of material again. So let's move up to the next one. And let's just do two pass on all of these. All right, so the only thing that's not gonna have two passes is gonna be this one up here. It's just gonna be the uh, engraving. All right, now that we have this set up, it's time to begin the cut test. All right, I'm gonna push start and begin this test. All right, the cut test just finished up. Turn off the air assist there. Get these awesome glasses off. Let's go ahead and open up and see how well we did. <laughs> Good news, it cut through. 
as I pick this up, some of the pieces should fall through. Very good. All right, so looks like we've got cut through on several of these that didn't quite punch out, but there we go. Very cool. All right, so let's take a look at this up close real quick. I wrote six millimeter or quarter inch up here in the corner so that I know that that's what this material is. So let's take a look at the results. So of course it has cutting test up here, came from Samcraft. It's got the three through seven millimeters per second, percent power 10 through 90, and the cut. So if you've got four millimeters right here, it did cut at 70. It looks like 80 and 90 did really well here. So I actually have a previous test. If I show you this one here, I actually got it cut out at uh, three millimeters at 50. But this time, if I turn over here, 50 is this one, did not get through there. So fascinating to have a difference in the output. But it looks like if I do uh, 70 at four, I should be good, or 80 here on these others. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what was different here. Um, I got different results on both of these. Fascinating, but anyway, looks like two passes at 80% uh, power should do fine on the six, five, four, or three settings. So there you go, that's that. And as far as the back, you can see what it looks like right here. So we got close on uh, this one right here, which was 60% at four. And then down here, I'm not exactly sure what happened. It just kind of uh, stopped there. I now have cards that I can reference for cutting through eighth inch Baltic birch plywood and quarter inch plywood. Now I'm thinking there are some inconsistencies in the wood grain and the glues used to put these together. And that's why the two cards had some differences. But if I look at this, I can just consider that anywhere in the 80% power range will be able to cut through this material. I would probably stick with uh, four or five to get that through um, any of these quarter inch. And then the previous cut that I had for the eighth inch, this was just one pass. And I had anything from three millimeters a second at 50, um, all the way down here to five millimeters at 80. Having cut cards like this on hand is very nice to have. So whenever you need to cut this type of material again, you will be able to reference the speed and power settings. Normally I would just write the thickness, the number of passes and the material on here, and you can look at it and see what you need for future references. So I will have links to this uh, cut file in the description down below if you want to pick up that. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.